On some business stories now, the Central Bank of Nigeria says it will deal with commercial banks engaged in sales of illegal foreign exchange. This comes on the heels of the crash of the Naira to more than 950 Naira to the dollar at the parallel market, even as forex scarcity worsens. The Apex Bank's acting governor, Mr. Folashodu Shonubi, said this while delivering a lecture titled Diaspora Remittances and address economic development in Abuja. Mr. Shonubi emphasized the importance of strict steps to restrict illegal remittances and channel them via appropriate means to maximize economic growth. He said in quote, to, we need to name and shame commercial banks involved in such practices, end of quotes. And the National Bureau of Statistics says average transport fare within Nigeria's cities surged by 98%. From 649 naira 59 kobo in May to 1,285 naira in June 2023. The figures were contained in the June 2023 Transport Fare Watch report of the NBS. The Bureau report shows that the hike in fares is attributed to the rise in the pump price of premium motor spirit, popularly called petrol. The average fare paid per commuter for intercity bus journeys per drop. Uh, soared to 5,686 naira in June, making a notable 42.09% increase when compared to 4,002 naira 16 cobra recorded in May 2023. This month and month escalation reflects the escalating trend in cost on a year on year basis. It is said that uh, bus fares rose by 120.6% from 582 naira 61 cobra paid by commuters in June. 2022. And the Federal Competition and Consumer Protection Commission says its investigations into the point of sale operator service charge price increase is not a collaborative or coordinated approach. Executive Vice Chairman of the Commission, Mr. Babatude Rukera, said this in Abuja that the Commission came to the conclusion after its surveillance and spot checks on members of the Association of mobile money and bank agents in Nigeria. According to him, what they have learned is that the coordinated approach to proceed uh, increase did not occur. The FCCPC had earlier threatened to prosecute members of AMBAN over collaborative price fixing. In accordance with the FCCPC's Act of 2018, the Commission also entered an order and notice to AMBAN to desist from the conduct. Uh, that uh, constituted an infringement of the law. And diversification has been identified as a crucial element in scaling up resilience to economic challenges. The subject was discussed at the Business Summit in Lagos, where emerging trends in global trade were reviewed. Ifunaya is a report. The Trade Summit, convened by the Ozobolo Development Union in Lagos, aims to change the narrative in the face of current business conditions. Diversification was emphasized by speakers at the summit as essential to accelerating small and medium enterprises in Nigeria. They acknowledged that the agriculture, manufacturing and export sectors must undergo a paradigm shift. In addition, they observed that businesses would achieve increased profitability through diversification as a risk reduction strategy. There is a global economic challenge everywhere and Nigeria is not exceptional. And currently what we are going through demands that we need to add some little diversification to whatever we are doing to sustain us, especially individuals. The government is trying and we, the individuals, have to try. If Nigerians who have constantly invested time and resources into importation begin to see agriculture as a potent, very potent export area, I can assure you that in the very coming years, Nigeria will become highly food sufficient. Furthermore, several items were showcased at the summit, including an innovative way of powering a generator with gas. With these innovations, at least we can be able to go further, not only towards that, but because of the global economic uh, whatever that we are experiencing today, at least I want to believe that with what we are learning here today, we are going to put it into practice and then we are going to do more. 
diversification is very, very important in anything you are doing. Like today, you see that we are doing conversion of uh, fuel generator to gas because things have to, if you have to follow the trend. Like the fuel is expensive now to buy and we are running generator because of lack of power supply. But if you can convert from fuel to, um, to uh, gas generator, you are saving a lot of things, a lot of costs along the line. They point out that the rapid expansion of Nigeria's manufacturing sector in terms of outputs and exports will ultimately create jobs, raise income levels and ensure sustainable economic growth in the long run. If Unanya is a TVC News, Lagos. Asian shares struggle today ahead of China's data that is likely to amplify the case for serious stimulus, even as Beijing seems deaf to the calls while rising treasury yields pressured sky high valuations on tech stocks and underpined the dollar. The MSCI's broadest index of Asian Pacific shares outside of Japan eased another 0.2% after shedding 2% last week. Japan's Nikkei was off 0.1%, though exporters have drawn support from a weaker year on Chinese blue chips. Also lost 3.4% last week amid a string of disappointing economic news accumulating in the dare report on the new bank loans in July. S&P 500 features were faring better in early trade were gaining 0.2% uh, while Nasdaq features edged up 0.3%. A U.S. bank, Citigroup, has completed the sale and migration of its Taiwan consumer businesses and transfer of close to 3,000 employees to Singapore's DBS Group. The consumer uh, businesses include retail banking, credit card, mortgage, and unsecured lending businesses, excluding institutional business in Taiwan. The transaction is expected uh, to release $1.2 billion in capital under local regulatory requirements the U.S. bank discloses that it plans to exit consumer banking across 14 markets globally. And finally, Australia's federal court has ordered Dell Technologies' local unit to pay $10 million, Australian dollars, that's about $6.646 million in penalties for making misleading representation on its website about discounts for add-on computer monitors. Commission Australian Competition and Consumer Commission, Mr. Lera Carver, said this will send a strong message to businesses making false representation about prices or inflating discounts, uh, which is a serious breach of consumer law and will attract substantial penalties. Spokesperson for Dell Australia says the company will be working with affected customers to provide appropriate refunds, interest, uh, and are taking steps to improve pricing processes to ensure the error does not happen again.